Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ruthian's FTB Adventure. So today, we are doing some major B things. Today, we are going to get some advanced B machinery going on. So, let's jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is make some advanced genetic machines. Now, we made some uh, genetic machines before, and these are an upgraded version of that. It takes these, these are the, this is the only new thing. It's a circuit board made in the carpenter. A little bit up, upgraded circuit than the last one we made. But it's all this stuff together, and we get five advanced genetic machines. Now those we're gonna upgrade into several other things, one thing at a time here. So first is this guy. And I'm going to go bit by piece by piece and explain each thing as I go along. So this is an isolator. An isolator, you feed it a bee and an empty serum vial, which will probably be the next thing we make, and it pulls out a trait from the bee. And then that's, this is how we're going to get different, like, traits to inject into other bees. So at this point is where we start really messing with bee genetics, which is really fun. So the next thing we're going to make, we're going to go ahead and make some of these. These are going to be serum files, which are used to hold these things, these um, traits and all that. And we're also going to need some to build the next sets of machines. But, um, so next, there we go, 18 files, that's pretty good. Replicator. Now a replicator, pretty sure, yeah, you put in a serum file and it will double it. It'll give you a second file of the same kind, pretty much, I believe. So that's what that does. So it's for, you know, getting more serums and all that. So next up is this guy. And this is a purifier. Now a purifier, which hopefully we'll get to do this today, requires B and A to work. So that's why I just put it on there. So maybe it will get some BNA. Receive only. Oh yeah, he's filling up. And this guy's probably draining. But uh, so this is gonna take. You're gonna. I'm gonna take a file and put it in here, and it's gonna make it a better quality. And it's gonna use the BNA to make it a better quality. Better quality gives us better results for our work. But okay, next thing is going to be this one, which is a inoculator. An inoculator is what we use to put the new genetics into the bees. So you can see we put a file here, the bees we're going to change, and then it'll change them into the new kind of bee. And then the last machine. It's gonna be this. That, that, that. There we go. One, two, three, four. Synthesizer. Now, the synthesizer you give it, it's kind of like the purifier, but you give it the files and it will increase the amount of charges that the file has. So the amount of times you can use it up here in this guy in the inoculator. And uh, one other machine that I made kind of off camera is a sequencer. And the sequencer you can use to make bee templates, which you can then use to make other kinds of bees. So I have these three these templates here. You can see some of them are crap quality. But I have these three that are excellent quality. So 
if we need more bees, we can change them into these other kinds using those templates. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna need another machine to do that, but I don't remember which one it is, and we're not gonna need to do that today. So I'm not gonna worry about it. So anyways, before we go off, I want to sleep here. And today, to show this, we are going to go and try to find some jungle bees. So let's go to spawn. And let's go, let's get out this guy, this guy, this. There we go. Oops. I always do that. Put that back. Okay. I know there's a jungle this way. Just fly on over here with our nifty jetpack. Here we are. So let's see if we can find some bees in here. Do, do, do. Not seeing anything yet. Now, these jungle bees, well, basically every single bee as I've said before, oh, whose house is this? My room is up, okay. I haven't seen that guy. Oh, I think I have seen him, but it hasn't been in a couple days. Anyways, um, so as I was saying, every bee has like different traits. And with these machines that we just made, we can pull out some of the traits to put them into other other bees to make them better so we can theoretically make super bees which will have all kinds of you know, they'll be like really max fertility long life really fast workers you know they'll have the best of all the traits so they'll produce the most efficiently i guess you could say so that's what, that's what we're going to do with these machines. But to start off with, we need some base bees with the genes that we want to pull out. And these jungle bees, what I've read is that they have the best fertility. They have four drones every time. So they have the highest fertility in the game. So I'm gonna try to find some more of these guys. I found the one princess, but I don't think one is gonna be enough. I mean, we'll be really lucky if we get it in the first try. But, um, there's another jungle over here. And there's one by, by our house as well, actually. Uh, come on, chunks load. So I think what I will do is I will find some bees. Or I think I'm just gonna cut to being back home with some bees. So uh, see you in about three seconds. Okay guys, so I went running all around. I found some jungle bees. But I ain't a single one of them times four fertility, you see? It's all times two. So I think my webpage that I'm looking at is lying to me. So I see that the uh, the forest guys are threes. So I think I'm going to use them and see what we can get out of them. I'm looking through all these bees trying to find a time, something better. But, uh... <coughs> These are the best ones we can find. So, let's see. There we go. Let's see, which machine was it? It's this one, Isolator. Put our serums in there. Put our bees in there. Let's watch this guy do his job. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Let's hope we get some... Uh, Fertility ones. We only have 12 serum vials. High fertility. Well, let's see what this gives us. That's exactly what we wanted right there. Let's 
Uh, just for the fun of it, let's see what this gives us. It is a flower pollution pollination. No. What? Where are you getting all those bees, man? Okay. So with this, we can put it in this synthesizer. And this guy is going to build it up. You see it's empty right now. When we do this, it's going to take some of our BNA, which is gotten from melting these bees down. We're done with those guys. We got what we wanted. And we can always get more. We have one breeding outside. So you can see there, one charge. It's going to slowly drain our BNA. I don't remember the numbers on how much it uses, but it does use some. But I did find a uh, wisp thing on my in my travel, looking for bees in a jungle. So yeah, we can toss all this stuff in here. We can put this guy back in here, and uh, hmm. let's see. Two charges. So what I want to use this on is one of these bees over here. Where are they? Here we go. Rocky Princess. Now Rocky Princess. Let's see, times one fertility, which means you don't get any extras from it. But the cool thing about them is they don't require any flowers, they just have to have stone nearby. And they are nocturnal, can fly in the rain, and run in caves. So these are 24 hours, and they're completely temper temper temperature tolerant, so they can go anywhere. That's So these are the bees I'm probably going to build all my other ones off of. The problem with them is that they don't produce anything. This is kind of a crap comb. And uh, again, the fertility which is why I have not been touching them. But, with these new fandangled things, we can better that, we can make that much better. So let's see here, we have this, five charges, poor quality. Let's throw it in the pur purifier. This is going to slowly purify this. Do, 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 do. So you go, now it's an average quality, and it's going to go up to a better quality. That guy's melting those things. I am going to throw a few of those guys in there to see if we can get some of those cool traits into files. I know you can also get like um, species serums, so you can change their species and their their outputs and all that, which will work for, for some of these other things, like there's nocturnal. Very good. These guys are draining the old power, aren't they? Jeez. What is that? Effect cancellation serum. Oh, that would meet, that would remove effects from other bees. That that could be useful. There's a couple of bees that have some pretty whacked out um, effects. Like I have a bee. I got a bee earlier, and it's the start of the uh, the uh, redstone bees. And they flip and call lightning down on your head. So that was, I was standing out there with my bees and there was lightning sapping all around me. I was like, what the heck's going on, man? Turns out it was lightning bees. There's rainfall serum. That's very good. It looks like it takes, like you can pull a couple traits out of some of these bees. It's not just like a one-shot kill. But these two will be very useful. This one will come in handy every now and then. Let's see what else. Rocky, there's a species serum, so now we can make rocky, turning things into rocky bees. 
Not too useful at the moment, but you know. Let's see what else we get. Come on. Give me something good. Shorter lifespan. Yeah, that's kind of crap. Let's see how's this guy doing. Excellent quality. Very good. So let's see. What you got now? What you gonna give me this last one? Rock pollination. Yep. That'll get rid of our flowers. But I don't know. I kind of like the flowers. But okay. Let's see here. So not a replicator. I want inoculator. So I'm going to inoculate these two guys with this high fertility serum. You can see it's excellent quality now. Should do quite well. And this is going to take a little while. So I'm going to take these guys out of here. I'm going to go make me another chest. Let's make another chest. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's five. Can't count today. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, there we go. There. Oh man, I'm missing 1.5 where you can just drag it around the circle and make it all, man. Okay, here we go. There, 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 and there. Diamond chest. So we'll store these things in here for now. So let's see. How you doing? Not quite done. It's getting there though. So would this be with these bees, I can change these bees into I can, I can, now that I can, now that I've got some uh, fertility going on, I can breed them up to heart or no resilient bees, which then from resilient bees, I can get, oh, did it not work? I guess it didn't work. I guess it failed. Hmm. Didn't know I could do that. Learn new things every day. Anyways, from resilient bees, I can get like, I can start doing the, uh, the mineral bees, which are pretty sweet. Well, let's go check on these guys. I'm working on these ones. Let's see if we can get a constant. These gothics, all classicals. Uh, that's empty. Uh, I can take these out, put them in this one, because I know those guys are making me jelly. Should I pick something up now? Maybe. Cultivated drones? Okay. Let's see. So here's what we're getting so far. We're getting stringy cones, which are coming from th these guys over here. We're getting pollen from these guys. And uh, all kinds of things. Nope, not yet. Got serums, though. But yeah, with the um, royal jelly going on with these guys, soon we'll be able to make some uh, alvearies. These are these are apiaries, and we'll be able to make alvearies now. Which are these? Scented paneling. Yeah, see, it takes beeswax, pollen, honey. Yeah, see, and you have to make eight of these. It takes eight of these to make one of these. And you need 28? No, 20, 20, 20, 20 36. It's nine times four, 36 of these to 
to get a uh, alviary. So hopefully we'll get some uh, if we can get these guys going then we can get some good stuff out of them. If we can get the, if we can get them going through their automatic, we can get some good stuff out of them. Um, you know, actually, I could probably set that up right now, because I just remembered I have something else that's new. So let's see here. Let's grab diamond. We're gonna need some more wood pipes. We need the gold pipes. We're gonna need an L. No, there's there's an empty one out there I can use. Um, one of these. Two of these. This is propolis. This is something I'm getting from the uh, industrial bees. No, from the uh, from the unweary bees. These green ones over here, right there. These guys are giving me stringy combs, which I can make into uh, propolis. Which I can then make into other things. But okay, so which one of these is empty? This one is empty. Pop it. Put this there back. Because we can't not have dirt there. Okay. Then we'll build another one of these contraptions. Uh, don't send anything in blue. Okay, and what I'm going to use the propolis for. I need to have done this. Diamond transport pipe. Propolis gives me an apiarist pipe. An apiarist pipe is like a golden, or is like a diamond transport pipe, so you can filter it. But it's all about bees instead of being for anything. So the main, the current problem with using the diamond pipes is that it's um they won't. It has to be the same kind of bee, or it won't recognize it to send it the other direction, like to send it the correct direction. So if it's not the kind of bee that was put in here, if it's not exactly the same traits, it won't go through the system. So it'll just go to the end chest and we won't be breeding bees or anything anymore. But this, this pipe here can do that. Oh, I forgot my... My gate. Let's grab that. Uh, gate. I won't really need that machine too often, so I'm not too worried about it being turned off. Um, anyways, back to this. So throw a gate down here. Ch -ch 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 items and in inventory. Energy pulser. Then we will click on this. You can see it's it's not going to send anything to any of those. We want red to be anything extra. No, anything. We want the the white to be queens, princesses. And we want the black to be drones. There we go. Well, that should work for these guys. Let's just bop them out of here. I can just put them straight back into this thing here. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Hopefully this will work. I don't think we're going to get to see it, but... Um, maybe it'll work. Hopefully it works. It should work. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. And hey, look at there. Two more roller jelly. So apparently these bees are the best kind of bees for making royal jelly. So that's what we need because we're going to need a lot of royal jelly. So let's see here. We'll go down here. We'll put this in here. Um, let's see, I kind of these are all the kind of bees that I've gotten gone through so far. Valiants, heroics, saffrons, gothics. 
These can be thrown out, I think, now. These I want to make a... Um, I need a species serum for these guys and these guy and one of these guys and these guys. These guys should have the heroic effect on them. Let's see. Yeah, and apparently that effect means that they'll fight mobs. I haven't seen that happen yet, but you know, whatever. But okay. Let's go back over here. Let's see, how is this guy doing? It's this one. This is empty. Let's fill it up. Times three. Times three. Oh yeah. And you know what's the best part? Bam. Bam. And bam, and they'll breed right here in the in the building. Don't have to go outside for nothing. So well, we may have some bees in the basement soon. You never know. Oh, you know he probably doesn't have a rock. Probably need to go get a rock, don't I? Let's give him a second. Uh, let's start with this in here first. Ooh, I need to fix that wall. Um. Seems happy. I guess the stone works. Or I guess maybe it's because there's stuff underneath it. I don't know. But it works. Sweet. So, that's most of the bee stuff. Um, again, I'll probably go into and do more... Um, probably go in and do more uh, breeding and see what I can see if I can start getting some of these fancier bees these uh, guys who are gonna make make us some uh, minerals and stuff because we're starting to get you can see the turtles are all sitting there none of them are out working we're starting to run low on some things and some bees running would certainly help that out a whole bunch so um yeah guys I think I will catch you guys next time see ya